Bloom where you plant it Understand your roots so your petals fill the gaps And understand the hues so your colors speak the palette of your truth All the mistakes you manage to let loose, let it by uh, The fire in your eyes, humility the rain See the people hold the sky Forgive yourself today so tomorrow you can fly Remember those you hurt so you can learn to love like Broken down, broken down twice now Searching for a moment where the light come Only feel the brightest when it's dark what is going on guys, it is Josh's POV back again with another video. Today is kind of a meet that I've been pretty much waiting all year for and a lot of people have. It's actually elders in the park so this at the minute is literally just people like, turning up. There's like four lanes of cars down here and they're all coming in and they're all picking their places with not their necessary groups and stuff like that. Oh my god that R8. We are going to start. We've literally just turned up. Uh, I need to clean the front of this because it's disgusting. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this front number plate. Look at that. Easy. Shout out to Killer Plates anyway for this. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway of uh, two sets of plates. If you guys did want anything like this, make sure you go to Killer Plates. Again, the link will be down in the description because these things are so cool. I've even got one for the back. And literally, you just peel it off. Like if you're washing or something you can get behind it, it's so cool. Like I was saying, we are literally just going to start cleaning the car because it's disgusting. It took us like an hour to get here, so that's a hell of a lot of flies. Quite a few cars here at the minute. Obviously this is going to be a fairly long video, so if you want it to do a short video, it's not happening. It's going to be a long video, definitely, because I'm really excited for this day. But anyway, enough talking, get the cleaning, I'll catch you guys in about two seconds of peace. Now, done, this is completely done. It's literally just a top up, like obviously, just clean the wheels and stuff. The boy's gonna be wrecking as well. I think we're probably gonna go and have a look kind of around the TT owners club because there's this really nice TT RS just here. We're gonna have a go and look at that and then we're gonna go and have a look around the rest of the Audis. I think there's still, I'm pretty sure there's still people turning up. Yeah. So, we've got Jess's car. This guy, I don't know his name, but he's there, he's the owner. Mine, Dad's. The chrome blue TTRS. Got this one here. That one's got a red, like, red leathery interior. It's really nice. Shout out, Mark. This one here as well. This one was here before. I didn't think it had them wheels, though. And they're new wheels. That's really nice. That's lovely as well, isn't it? <laughs> TTRS. <laughs> Just stumbled across this. Like, it fills up the whole wheel. What are these? 20, 25, oh no, 22 inch. Oh my God. So uh, there's just a couple of cars here as well that look absolutely gorgeous. Like, just been released as well, which is this. Brand new RS5. I'm not too sure about the colour, but still a gorgeous car with the cream leather interior, the RS wing backs as well. And then right next to it, is this R8 V10 Plus Spider? White with red leather interior. Oh my god. So 
So shout out to all the Quattro Sport Owners Club. So I think we heard this one coming in. Oh, it's got proper bucket seats. So I'm pretty sure the last event, this one was here, but this one wasn't. Like, they are so weird. It's like a matte black. And this one's like a blue. <laughs> M3 style exhausts. Oh my God, RS7, black on black RS7. This is like my dream. Oh no, it's not, it's like a, oh it's like Merlin Purple. And you got a grey RS4 with wingbacks as well, wow. Oh so again, like most videos, I don't really know how much of this I'm actually going to record because there's a hell of a lot of cars here, so that guy's got a drone. Again, I don't really know how much of this I'm going to record, I'll just kind of record it and then when it comes back to editing, I'll just edit out the bits that are boring. There's obviously a lot of cars here. I don't really know people's preferences. So, just spotted this nice little R8. By nice, I mean, just. No, this, this is the GT. GT. Yeah, this is the GT. I know it's got them on, but if you look at the seat, yeah. you look at the dash, I know it's got the badge on, but you look at the dash, it's got the coloured dials and it says GT on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there, there is a difference. It's kind of, oh my and, god. I'm sure this is the D8. Oh, need to do the raffle, Josh. Oh, right. God, he still keeps going, there's more. What, for TT? Wow. <laughs> there is so many people here. <laughs> Paintwork on this is so cool. And you got Alex's 474 horsepower. Gonna be a review on this soon. Let's make sure you guys stay tuned for this. Holy hell. This is the uh, Aldi. Aldi, oh, cool, Aldi Owners Club, oh, yeah. So we see this one at quite a few shows. So these 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 are people with just a, just a bit more money. Look at the size of the wheels. Shout out. Go follow this guy. See his RS6. Yeah. yeah. Look at it. R7, that's oh, our R6. Look at them, man, they're so nice. R6. Hi, yeah. R6. Thrill, wow. I know. And Voss and wheels as well. That is his number plate. 100%. This is our nice little RS6. And then that finish it off a Merlin Purple RS7. So this was here before. Beautiful. 
beautiful. This car as well, this one was at Photo Nothing last year. I actually did an edit on that. And this one was really nice. I love the wheels on it as well. The wheels are gorgeous. And it's an S3 as well. Nice little wing on the back. <laughs> look at the look, look at the wheel nuts as well. Like massive shotgun shells. I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. Yeah, because it's got the... Oh, that sounds nice. So yeah, um, as you can see behind me, a lot of people are still turning up. As you can see already as well, it's absolutely rammed. Like, even over the top of the hill, there's people still here. And there's a load of people that have been told to park down there. It's not really a bad view, is it, Loz? No, just... There we go, that's better. <laughs> So we are going to start eating and then we're going to go back around. We've pretty much like, we've done probably like, it feels like 10% of like all of the cars. There are still cars, but as you saw as well, I showed you, still, oh God, still cars coming in. So we are going to have some dinner and then carry on going around because there'll be obviously a few more cars here, a few more cars parked up, which means more cars to go look at. And as well, weather, spot on. I don't want to, I've just jinxed it now, haven't I? Oh, God. So, guys, me and my dad were just talking about having, like, a perfect family car as such, but you probably already see me in the background, but this is what we would consider, like, a perfect family car. An RS, an RS6. Would you say an RS7 as well? Is yeah, this one in the Merlin purple is gorgeous. This one in here as well, that is so nice with the wheels as well. Gorgeous car. I think this guy's lost. <laughs> How cool this is. This is so cool. But then BBS's, they would look so nice on mine. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> I can't get over that. Okay, oh, that is so cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I think we saw this one last year. This one was at um, Howders in the Park last year. So uh, we spotted this little gem, I suppose you could say. We saw it by the spoiler, and you'll probably see why in a second. But I don't know if you guys probably like this or don't like it, but I think it's quite cool. Uh, you need balls to put this. What uh, made you put a wing on it? <laughs> it just looks bland about one. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a lovely front, it's got a lovely back end. It yeah. Has, but I just think you need something to kind of finish it off. Yeah. And, uh, to be honest with you, it's a very down wind, but I think it looks so nice. And as well, you just saw loads of people taking pictures of it. So. Yeah, it just, yeah. Uh, I was definitely about the wing for a long time. And, yeah. Um, but I knew if I got an R8, I'd have to have a wing on it or something. Yeah. Or something. And it was, I went through loads of different wings. Um, I looked through and, and tested to see if I liked it, and there was nothing else. I just liked no. it. It was all too big. To yeah. Two in your face. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to look like a health special. I want to, yeah. I want to look kind of professional. I want to yeah. Look, and this is the only one prior design based in Germany. Mm. Uh, German mate. Still walking around at the minute, but I'm pretty sure we've like looked at pretty much everything. There's just like a few cars like these, but we've not actually been down here, so we're gonna go uh, down here because, like I said, we've not been down there yet. And dad it always gets distracted if it's a TT and it's convertible, like dad just walks over to it. 
And like I said, we're just going to keep walking around and have a look at a few things. I don't know how much I've recorded as of yet because I seem to be recording almost everything. But yeah, I think the prize draw as well gets called out about three. It's now currently 120, so we've still got a while yet. So let's keep looking at cars. I thought, thought I'd find this somewhere. Shout out Paul. With his immaculate 225, as always. <laughs> and as well, he had, just had this done in the boot. Wow. That was epic. Shout out to this guy for locking his keys in the car. They look so mean. <laughs> look at the exhaust as well, wow. <laughs> this guy's having some fun. So people are just starting to go. There's a few hardcore people still here, including me. Um, I'm one of the hard, I'm a hardcore Audi fan. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, we're both hardcore Audi fans, so we're still here. No, actually, we're, we're getting the car bleeped. So when I lock it, it makes a bleeping sound, but they told me that my horn was on the way out, so I've got to go and replace that. Yay. So, just want to say thank you to this man here who's just walking away. His name's, his name's Alex, he's actually just helped us out quite a bit. My dad had an issue with the key, and he had, if Alex wasn't here from bad car coding, he would have had to go all the way to Northampton to get his key, like basically, like reset on the car. And as well, he threw it in, do it, press the button. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, the keys are in the car. For free, because I had mine done, but mine. So, it get, it get the beep. 
coded that in on dad's car so basically it just tells you like when everything's locked and stuff it'll only beep when the car is fully locked and every, all the doors are shut so if it's not locked he won't do it on mine he's done exactly the same he's like coded all the doors so if all the doors are shut and i lock it it makes a beep if it doesn't make the beep then i know something's open i can go back and make sure it's shut that basically just stops people from obviously stealing the car and stuff i just want to say a huge thank you to alex absolute legend as well the guy that you work with i think i've got your card in my pocket yeah shout out to you dude thank you so much we are pretty much going to get going now anyway uh, everybody seems to be leaving like there's a uh, RS3 over there leaving. Everyone's leaving. How does in the park was absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure I've got burnt on the face as well because I always seem to get burnt at these type of events if it's sunny. Yeah, I really did enjoy it today. There is another Audi event, Audi driver that's happening in a couple of weeks, I think. I'm not too sure. Make sure, again, you do stay tuned for that because that is going to be insane. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like down below. Drop a comment. Let me know if you were here or if I got your car in the video or whatever. Anyway, I'm Josh and that was my POV. Yeah.